let me tell you a new story that also begins with stardust. Shimmering stardust falls on the Mushroom Kingdom once a century. That time had come again. Dear Mario, would you like to share some cake while we watch the shooting stars? Meet me at the castle. Peach! Mario! Hello everyone, welcome to Super Mario Galaxy 2. The let's play I promised myself I'd never complete, will never do, right after I did the first one as Luigi. But now I'm here doing Mario Galaxy 2 and who do we have here? Oh my god, he's speaking PlayStation. Silly Luma, this is Nintendo. He's a little confused. Was he lost? Um, yeah, he's looking for the PlayStation Network, not this Nintendo Wii. Sorry about that. Oh, but he seems to like us. That's alright. He's just gonna spin there with our hat. Um, fella. It's a little sunny out and Mario kinda needs his hat. He doesn't wanna get sun, but... There we go! Oh, now he can dance with the Luma. Mario's cap filled with warmth as he felt a new power surging through him. No, the Luma's just pissing in him. Pissing in his hair. And he's still trying to speak PlayStation. And we can now shake the help of our Luma friend, for whatever reason. For some reason, having a Luma in our hat allows us to spin, like... Is that the same with all the 2D games? Has Mario secretly got a Luma in his hat? And we have another Luma here, but he seems to be yellow, because, I don't know, Luma's a racist or whatever. Oh my god! Hello, Luma! You scared me. Bowser! Who invited you here? Like, excuse you, don't come crashing our party. Uh, Bowser, you weren't invited. You're too late, Mario! The power of the stars is already mine, and look what else I got! <gasps> Help me! Gwahahaha! I'm huge! Even scary up close, huh? Um, yeah, you are very terrifying, those red eyes and those big bushy eyebrows, like, you ought to get them waxed. Maybe I'll have Peach bake me something for once. I sure could go for a galaxy-sized slice of cake right now. I'm way too huge for this puny planet. I deserve an empire that's more me-sized. Good for you, Bowser. You're dreaming high. That's what society wants you to do. And I'll put it in the center of the universe. Have fun with your stupid mushrooms. Well, magic shrooms are very tasty. I'm kidding, I've never tried it. Um, yeah, don't ever think that I do that stuff. The, someone up ahead wants Mario. We better go check this out immediately. I'm coming. Mario, where did that monster come from? He took your princess to the center of the universe. You must hurry and save her. Oh my god, it's our PlayStation Luma. Oh, PlayStation Luma. PlayStation Luma, did you get thrown overboard too? Good thing you're safe. I see. So you're going to stay in Mario's cap? That should be safe for now. But Mario, you got to realize he's pissing in your hat. Like, you might want to wash your hair. But how? I know, with the help of PlayStation Luma, you can use the power of the stars. And we Lumas can help a little too. Oh my god! He just... evolved! Evolution, baby. That's how it works. And there are no star bits whatsoever in the sky. And just like that, we off into the Sky Station Galaxy, Pee Wee Prana's temper tantrum. Um, wow, I hope he has this under control. Oh my god, Mario, you're swimming in midair. That's awesome! Our power, our power stars, they're gone. Some gigantic dragon monster stole them. If you're going after that monster, you might see our power stars out there too. Please bring back our power stars. Loomis will help you along your way. 
yeah, by evolving right in front of me. Like, that's gross. You mind keeping that a little private? Father Loomis told me about you. Thank you for helping us. I'm going to transform into a launcher. Come over and fly. Wow, that was kind of gross. Please keep that to yourself. I don't want to see you do that in front of me. Thank you. So, I never planned on doing Mario Galaxy 2. That was one thing that I never planned on doing, and mainly because I didn't own the game and I hardly knew anything about it. But now I've like seen Let's Plays online and well, one Let's Play and a couple other Mario Galaxy videos, so I kind of know what I'm doing, but because I've only played the once, and that was yesterday or the day before, I don't know. It was yesterday! I haven't done this level since yesterday, and that was my first time doing it. So I kind of know what I'm doing, but at the same time, you know, I've only played it the once. I should have spun in that and shown off some speedrunning tactics, but oh well. I'll just collect the coins, I guess, and then spin into it. Coins are way more used in this game than they were in the first Mario Galaxy game. But I'm pretty sure everyone already knows this because, honestly, the game's been out for five years now. If you don't know anything about Mario Galaxy at all, and you're a Nintendo fan, then I think you might want to go get yourself checked. Oh, no, no. Fuck me. I swear, I've seen everyone who's played this game die on this first level in that particular spot. Like, every video. I even did it yesterday. I was trying my hardest not to die there this time. And yet, I still somehow fucked up. Maybe I'm just bad at this game. Like, you all saw me play the first Mario Galaxy game. As Luigi, of course. Which, you know, I'm still not a fan of Luigi, but... Yeah, it's just a thing I decided to do because, you know, Luigi needs some airtime too. Oh, and I just got a Comet Medal, which, you know, presents us with Comets. They don't turn up, like, in the last one just randomly, where Rosalina or whoever it was was just like, Oh, a Comet's here, go talk to this Luma and he'll tell you all about it. Because, you know... Rosalina was nice like that. She tried to assist us, but yeah, honestly, we didn't care too much. What the hell? I was facing backwards then. You all saw it. And who do we have in here? Hello? Oh, it's your little baby! Hello, you little fella. How are you doing? Oh, he's drooling and everything. Oh, God, please do not lick me. I am not tasty. I taste like a butt. Speaking of which, I'll hit you in yours. Oh, star bits. Don't mind if I do. So, it's been 14 months since I recorded the first episode of Super Luigi Galaxy. So, I'm pretty sure I'm bad with timing. And I tried to do it consistently with the uploads. Like, my original plan was to upload the first episode of that. And then have consistent uploads with the rest once they'd all been pre-recorded. I've now worked out that does not work in the slightest, so I'm just gonna, you know, continue on with whatever it is I do. I'll upload as soon as I can, really, with this series. But I probably won't even start uploading this series until Super Luigi Galaxy is completed. Just to try and have the content there so it's like all leading up. I've only uploaded, like, up to episode 18 or something of Super Luigi Galaxy out of the near 40 episodes there is. So, yeah. I still need to get on with that. Consistently, consistency is good in life, except on my YouTube channel, where there has been no consistency whatsoever. We got our first Power Star, by the way. I'm just talking about my channel and how inconsistent it is, really. Like... Honestly, if you've seen what videos have been uploaded and whereabouts, there's no consistency whatsoever. Also, where the hell are we? Oh, it's your cute little fat one. So you're this merry guy my little loomies won't stop blabbing about, am I right? Sorry to hear about the excitement you had with that dragon monster down in the Mushroom Kingdom. I sure appreciate you bringing us this 
Power Star, though. We need as many of these as we can get. The name's Lubber. And by the by, I'm the head honcho of this Luma crew. See, believe it or not, we're on a spaceship right now. No, that's a planet that's been hit many times with asteroids. Took some real elbow grease to convert this little planetoid into a ship, but we Lumas pulled it off. Oh, I see. You just didn't want to leave home, so you took home with you. It's like a caravan for space. May not look like much, but it's home. Yeah, it's a caravan. It's your home. Truth be told, the ship she's not in such hot shape right now. We ran into that dragon monster too. He blasted us with meteors and some of my crew were thrown overboard. Oh, I see. This is where young Master Luma came from. This was the ship they referred to earlier. So that dragon monster kidnapped your princess, eh? That's cold. Deep space cold, if you ask me. Well, I didn't. You know what else is cold? That dragon monster stealing every last one of our power stars. See, that's our fuel. Our spaceship runs on energy from power stars. Without that, we're stranded here. Oh my god, it's the PlayStation Luma. Ayo! Is that PlayStation Luma? It is, isn't it? Wow. Wait, if you have the trust of young PlayStation Luma, hmm. Say, I might just have a little proposition for you. Hear me out now. Your special someone got kidnapped and you gotta save her. Am I right? Um. Well, they're both kind of yes, so I mean. And we need fuel for our ship. Now, if you think you could get some of our power stars back for us, I'd be willing to make this ship your very own for a bit. That's a fair exchange. Am I right, Mario? I never told you my name. How do you know me, sir? Alright, it's a deal. Okay, gang, let's get cracking, yeah? I want everything spaceship shape. And our power star is still there. That's probably the longest we've ever stared at a power star for. I wonder what Mario does with them in, like, Super Mario 64. Does he, like, stick them all in his pants and have a Power Star party to, there? Lover's crew rebuilt the spaceship to look just like Mario. Even though it's green, it's kind of like when you put on the L emblem in Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. Well, what do you think? Nice spaceship, yeah. More like a face ship. <laughs> well, at least you'll never lose it in a car park. Am I right? <laughs> So what's next? Don't look at me. This ship has your face on it, not mine. The decision is yours. Feel free to explore Starship Mario, or take the helm if you're ready to ship out. It's your call, Captain. Oh, I see. I make all the decisions in life, do I? Do I, Mr. Lubber? Oh my god, Mario. Where are you taking us? Have you? Do you even know how to fly a spaceship? Like, seriously, Mario, where on earth are you taking us? Holy cow, you just, like, planted your foot there. Like, why, Mario? That's a bit intense. Take it slowly, I reckon, would be a good start. So, this is the world map. Just point your finger at your destination and press A to jump into that galaxy. Like I said, this spaceship runs on energy from power stars. Right now it looks like we got enough power to go this far. We're gonna need more power stars. So let's do it for your princess and my crew. Take it away, Captain. Okay, so we can go on to the Yoshi Star Galaxy. But, I mean, let's let's go visit the Sky Station Galaxy some more. Because it's, it's a pretty galaxy. There's pretty things to do and whatnot. And we can even storm a Sky Fleet. Like, come on. Let's get on to this Mario. Oh my goodness. I've never gotten that Rainbow Mario power up before either, even though I've only played it the once. But yeah, and I've never seen anyone else collect it either, so it's obviously not that important. Also, where do we go from here, I wonder? I hear yourself asking, where do we go from here? Well, you see, what we do is we murder all the... Mario's. No, we actually murdered chomps and opened treasure chests. Uh, why can't I aim this? Alright, 
I'm not going to shake my Wii mate, because you don't want to see all this all over the screen, do you? No, I didn't think so. Because, you know, it works just as well as shaking your nunchuck, so... Yeah. Also, that's the key right there, that we need to unlock that little luma over there that someone had horribly captured. Also, how does collecting the key unlock it? Like, you need to stick that key in and twist it. Oh, thank you. Now I can just transform into a monster. Just hop in and shake your Wiimote to go fly. No, don't evolve in front of me. Please, have some privacy, young man. Or madam. I gave you a man voice, but you're probably a madam. Let's go this way, because I never go this way. How come I never go this way? I wonder. Also, where is that Mario? Uh, I don't know, because, you know, the entrance is right here, anyway. So, let's just jump on in. I see a life, and I'm probably wasting my time to collect it right now. Because, let's face it, I'll probably keep falling and falling and have a hundred different chances to collect it. And all the stuff. Oh no, I actually went the right way for once. Amazing, don't you think? Ho ho. And that little thing just gives us a bunch of extra pretty little one-ups. If we so need it. In here, I'll jump inside of you. Oh, star bits. Star bits you need to collect a lot more of, actually, in this game, if I recall. Although there was one part in Super Luigi Galaxy where I kind of had to replay some levels to get some star bits. Did I even leave that in? I'm pretty sure I left that in, me collecting star bits. And what do we have here? It's our Cosmic Clones. For some reason, we do not receive a comment for Cosmic Clones in this one. They just appear wherever they damn well please. Like, no, that's not how it works. Also, I just did some fancy footwork right there, if I do say so myself. It's probably not the most effective way to do it, but, I mean, I wanted to show off a little. That's all. I wanted your guys' approval. Really. And we have Bullet Bill! Who looks very angry and is huge. Power Star! I'm coming for you! All I need is a key to help us... Help me get to you. Which I believe the key is found... Guarded by this big fella right here with the... Ugly spike on his head. And I totally messed that up. But that's alright. Because I got him the second time. Once again you just collect the key and the Power Star unlocks. Like... No, that's not how it works. You need to actually, you know... Ah, oh, Bullet Bill! Bullet Bill! Where the hell are you coming from? But yeah, you need to get the key, actually stick it in the lock, and turn. That's how it works. That is how logic works. So now I've collected a total of two Power Stars in Super Mario Galaxy 2. Which, hopefully, is going to be... Uploaded more frequently than I have been with Super Luigi Galaxy. And Lubber wants to talk to us. Wish I could give you more help than just cheering from the sidelines. You know, a friend with another Wiimote can join up with you. Then one of my co-star Loomis can help out. They can help you take down enemies and even get you some extra star bits. So if you want a Luma partner, don't be shy about asking a friend to jump in. But Lubber! If I give you a Wii, mate, you can join me. Hey, Lubber? Do you want to play with me? Come play with me, Lubber. You can play with my ass. Lubber's... Can I crawl underneath you? I cannot. You jiggly piece of shit. But anyway, that's going to do it for this episode of Super Mario Galaxy 2. No, it's not. We're going to jump right back into the next level. No, I'm just kidding. Can I leave? Am I stuck here? On the mission select? Well, okay. I guess this is where we're starting the next episode at. And I'll see you all... Laters!